guys. Um, well, I just spent about uh, an hour playing around today and had far, far better results. Um, one of the things I did was, as Tony suggested, get the heat a little bit further away from the, the stencil and BGA when I'm reflowing. Uh, that seemed to work quite nicely. Uh, didn't have the right stencil again for this one, but uh, the stencil was only trying to put one extra uh, one extra ball in uh, the corner. I don't think I've got any, oh, anyway, see if I can point it out. Yeah, there was one extra ball just in there, which I just hooked out afterwards. So, uh, yeah, no problems with that one. Uh, that is 0.5 uh, mil size ball. Um, then thought I'd move on to some really small ones, and uh, I think we had point. Oh, hang on, let me compare with the other ones. I'll show you both of them. Um, Full focus. Come on. Not going to focus, but you can see how small they are. Uh, again. No particular issues. Um, one on the right needed a couple of balls redoing when I'd uh, finished. But instead of lifting the stencil off, actually I'm just going to pause that and see if we can do something about the focus because it's not the best. Hold on a second. Alright, hopefully that's uh, a bit better. Um, <clears throat> as I was saying, this one couple of the balls didn't take immediately um, but what I did is I just left the stencil in place and uh, the ones and it's, it was pretty obvious which ones hadn't gone because you can just see the difference but I just gently poked them with uh, the little uh, pointed probe I've got realized they were still loose and uh, all I did then because the BGA was, was hot still I just gently touched some BGA gel flux onto the few chips that were loose uh, that liquefied pretty much straight away and I just went back over to the, the hot air gun and uh, you know reflowed it again uh, stencil popped off absolutely no problem at all so very pleased with that and uh, this one I think so hard to tell the difference between 0.5 and 0.45 again uh, no particular problems with that one. So yeah, quite pleased. It's good results today. Um, nothing really changed. Just uh, perhaps got the quantity of the flux prop, you know, correct, and uh, moved the heat away a little bit. Uh, was probably just a bit more patient uh, all round. But yeah, we've got a couple more. I took these off a few years ago when I was in originally investigating that. I don't think we're going to have the stencils for them but that's one of them can't imagine we've got that pattern so that might be interesting uh, another small one again what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to see if we can get the proper size proper stencils because I, I think that probably helps a lot um, so yeah good results today and uh, I'll uh, keep you updated oh I've, I've ordered I think I've decided to not use the cooker uh, hobs, apart from for small jobs it's okay, it can get the board up to reasonable temperature. What I've done is I've ordered an Arduino Uno, um, some relays, uh, various bits and pieces to uh, make another kind of preheater. I've got a ceramic, I think it was 650 watt ceramic dark infrared plate on order from China or Hong Kong so we'll probably uh, wire it all up and uh, see how that goes uh, but yeah I'll, I'll do videos on that on the forum over the next few weeks thanks a lot